Okay, this one's about wiring up the uh, uh, primary control for oil furnaces uh, if you're changing thermostats. Uh, the older furnaces, really old, had a stack switch in them. There's your stack switch. I wanted to kind of zoom in on the low voltage controls here. Now if you look at this, it's showing uh, if you have a two wire uh, thermostat, there actually were three wire thermostats on some of these. Um, it shows a T down here. The T is kind of hard to see, but there's a T on W and there's a T on B. Those are the two wires that go to the thermostat. Now, understand, this thing has its own power supply. You can't put a separate transformer uh, on the, uh, you know, to the thermostat. You can't take something like and run air conditioning with this thing. There's ways to do it, but you can't use this transformer. I'm going to show you the transformer. That's it right there. And uh, it's only a little 10VA transformer. It, it powers the uh, stack switch and it sends power up to the thermostat. If you're putting a, a mechanical heating only thermostat on it, it works fine. If you're using a battery operated thermostat, it works fine. Let me show you one of those. Okay, this is a battery operated thermostat. If you look inside, you'll see two double A's. This you can use air conditioning, heat, everything with the oil furnace. Uh, but if you're using a thermostat that has to be powered, that has to have the C hooked up, you can't use it with the oil furnace. Now when I say you can't use it, it you can use it, but you got to make modifications. Uh, Okay, let's take a look at a CAD cell relay, which is much more likely for you to find. Okay, this CAD cell relay here, and uh, it's a primary control just like the stack switch. Yeah, but it's, and it's got mostly the same terminals on it. Okay, here's the terminals on this CAD cell relay. The two... Uh, F1 and F2 right there, that's for the flame rod, or for the uh, CAD cell. And we've got the W, B, and R, just like we did on the stack switch. Some of these just have a TT on them. The Honeywells just use a TT on the newer ones. So the W and B go to the thermostat. Okay, when you take the cover off of this, Let's see if we get this moved around here. Okay, you can see here's the transformer here. Same little tiny transformer. So if you uh, are using one of these uh, CAD cell relays or stack switch as a primary control, you can hook a thermostat up to it. You can hook up a battery operated electronic and you can hook, hook a mechanical uh, thermostat up to it but if you need one that has a C power on it or you're putting air conditioning on what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to isolate this thing and put a uh, a larger transformer on it and use just a relay to turn this on I'll do another video on how you would install the relay but this is just to let you know that you can't power any of these electronic thermostats and the like with these uh, primary controls. They won't do it. They don't have the terminals for it. There's no common terminal on these or anything. So if you need a common on your, uh, on your uh, thermostat, then you can't use 
uh, this primary control without modifications. And that's it about these primary controls for uh, new thermostats.